today we're going to go over how to conduct a surface air sample on um, an agar plate using an inhibitory mold agar. So we select for fungal spores typically um, with particular interest in looking for aspergillus. Um, so I'm going to go over how to conduct that air sample. Our protocol is a little bit stricter because this is uh, mostly proposed for a clinical setting. Yeah, so we start by drawing on some gloves. Then we have an alcohol wipe. So we're going to begin by sterilizing the air sampler. Take it inside the lid. We'll do the exterior. Okay, go on the inside. We try and scrub everywhere that the plate will counter essentially. So now we do the inside here. This is where the plate will actually go. Now I'm gonna get trying to get every surface on the inside. And then in order to get rid of all the ethanol we run the air sample. So this is the surface air sample. This is the surface air sampler. Um, we turn it on. It takes a few seconds to load. And then in order to get rid of all the ethanol, we run it for 40 seconds. Right, this part gets rid of all the ethanol. Now we're ready to begin our air sample. So we're gonna take a plate of inhibitory mold agar and we place it gently inside the surface air sampler, like so. Make sure it's secure. Make sure there aren't any fingerprint marks on the plate because I can give you a false positive. Okay, and then you put it on flat as you can. Okay. And now we run it for 500 seconds and that's where our surface air sampler is set. To stop we collect 500 liters of air. And then we we'll like, yeah, we can like put it out at 500, or like fast forward when I film some of the movies, the videos. Um, yeah, and after this, I want to go to something like this. Okay. Do you know what time it is? Oh, I oh, probably yeah. need to check after. Great. Okay, just gonna turn it off. Okay, so at 500, um, the surface air sample will turn off. There should be marks on the agar plate showing that the surface air sampler did its job. So now we wrap the plate with parafilm. This is to make sure that no more air gets in. And then we label it and get ready to send it to off services to be incubated at room temperature. So you have the description of the sample and then comma, the date, like so. Okay, and then you, then you bag it and you turn it into your lab to be incubated and it should be ready to go.